Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and we are playing an infinite life deck here with Ill-Tempered Loner and really excited about this one. There is so many ways to make this go off as long as we can find Ill-Tempered Loner, which we have shown on the skulls to make that happen anyway, but we'll see how this goes. So four mana, three, three, whenever it is dealt damage, it loses it deals that much damage to any target so typically with these kinds of cards it's okay we're gonna deal that much damage to the opponent and you can do a massive like 20 damage spell and all of a sudden kill the opponent right away well with standard right now we don't have the the big massive spell unless you have tons and tons of mana for scheduled smashing uh but we do have some pretty cool ways to go infinite life here and actually potentially go infinite damage as well so el timber loner four mana three three it is dealt damage uh it deals that much damage to any target we target itself as long as it has lifelink and indestructible it'll be able to deal damage to itself over and over again and gain life as it does so it won't die because of indestructible and then we get to gain infinite life which is typically unbeatable anyway like once you have infinite life most people are trying to deal damage in some way to win the game and so then it's just a matter of okay are they going to you know who's gonna uh if they feel like they can they can hold this off for, for long enough then they, they can maybe go to a who will draw the last card first but we can typically build up our deck to be able to win no matter what from that point on uh, and so that is one way to win is just gain infinite life put an angel fire ignition onto it find a way to deal damage to it with our play with fire spike filled hazards magic missiles shadow Soul smashing kabir takedown or just having them have to block with it as well then we can make sure that it will deal damage to itself gain infinite life be awesome that's one way to do it we also have olenbeck escort which also gives indestructible and lifelink as long as it has a plus one plus encounter onto it so we have a few ways of doing that showdown the scalds luminarch aspirant and cleric class whenever we gain life we'll build a put a counter onto it which will then be able to go off and, and hopefully do okay uh, so that's kind of the dream is the cleric class will also work for this if it also works where if you gain life and put a plus one counter onto the creature so we do have a couple of spells that will allow us to deal one point of damage which will negate the need to be indestructible so spike field hazard and magic missile are the two it will end shadow school smashing that we can do it for x1 uh if we can get those onto it and have a cleric class leveled up to level two we can actually go infinite life immediately just by being able to put a counter onto this every time it's dealt damage and gains life so we'll put the counter onto it deal the damage to itself and gain the life and we'll be able to go up and up and up until we have infinite life and it'll be just fine this will be a massive massive creature uh and you know will be awesome and then if we ever have angel fire ignition in the future we put it onto this thing and it'll be massive as well and, and be instructable with hate with trample and everything and win the game so that's kind of the dream we have the cleric class win we have the olenbach escort win we have angel fire ignition win uh, and then we also just have decent creatures and things throughout the deck here as well just making sure we go off showdown of the scalds also works whenever we cast an extra spell we put a counter onto it that's a way to just get a counter onto it to make sure olenbach escort works uh but it's also just a way to put counters onto other things and make sure we can hit him i have battlefield raptor in here just to as a another evasive threat that we can get in through over the top we have you know a few other creatures that we can just stack up with Luminarch Aspirant. Angel Fire Ignition putting two counters onto something is actually a pretty big swing if we can start getting things big enough and just kind of take over the board. So even if we don't fight Ill-Tempered Ill Loner, we still have a decent deck here to try to win with. Uh, but we are pretty heavy into spells, and so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so that's the deck. Let's see how it does for us, and wish me luck. Here we go. Up against Too Late Blue, and this is kind of an awkward hand. Uh, we're on the draw, and we have three mana, which means we get to Brutal Cathar. And I typically keep a hand that has the ability to have removal, but I think we want to be able to have some more setup here. These are more support cards and helpful cards. No red mana. Um, Can I keep this? Shorten of the Skull should help us find red mana. We have two pieces of the combo, so we're going to keep this one. I'm not sure this is better than the last hand. Having more lands is typically better than just having the cards that you need, but we found land, so we're good. Okay, play this out tapped. Pass the turn. We do have to find a way to put you deal damage to Old Teleport Loner as well. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but Lumarch Aspirant, pretty nice. Are we up against rogues? Curse you, rogues. Aspirant. Counter. Pass the turn. Lumarch Aspirant is actually a pretty good counter against the typical. Oh, this is rogue mail as well. They're playing crab and such. They're going to flash something in here. All right. Well, we will play out planes and escort. Counter onto aspirant. Escort is awesome. That means that we can actually uh, 
get this to be indestructible right away by putting a counter onto it sooner than later. Pass the turn. Divide by zero. That's fine. We want to get those out of their system. <laughs> the fewer of bounce effects they have, the better, because that's one way they can actually stop our combo from actually going off. Uh, but as is, we're just going to throw out our threats. I'd rather get more damage out in the battlefield than just Limerick Aspirant right now. Hit in past the turn. Even maybe short onto the Scalds to try to find a damage dealing spell for Angel Fire Ignition and go off with this. Environmental Sciences. Okay. I mean, they're trying to mill us, so gaining infinite life isn't necessarily what's most important here. Making sure we can deal lots of damage is what's most important right now. Uh, so we're not going to go for the combo. Because we don't have a way for it to be dealt damage anyway. Um, pay two to get it more damage. All right, so we're going to go um, Aspirant. I think I'm actually going to put the counter onto Escort here. Um... I, I, they, they're holding on to a divide by zero, pretty sure. So I'm going to put the counter there. It's a little bit awkward, but I think right now we're fine. Yeah, down to 14. We still are doing plenty of damage past the turn. Next turn we get to showdown on the Scalds, maybe hopefully find the combo. As long as they're holding up mana for divide by zero, I'm not going to go off with this. Uh, there's also the Faded Hope, I think, another spell we have to worry about. That's my turn. So spreading out the damage as much as possible is the best thing possible. All right, so... It just gets a little bit bigger. I wasn't sure what all happened with that. I do want to... I think in general we need... Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's go show down with the Scalds. If they want to counter this instead of bounce something, that's fantastic. But this at least lets us have more things to cast, more things to do, dig for the combo, kind of. And what we're lo really looking for, I think, is Cleric class at this point. Okay, that's fine. the counter there spread out the damage so if they bounce stuff it's, they're, they're gonna have to bounce yeah there we go so they're still bouncing the biggest thing but we're still keeping more damn more power on the board here down to 10 that's the turn as long as we can force them to not bounce things with counters it means we get to maintain a higher value in general tasha's hit his laughter oh wow that was a lot of cards yep do they have another one okay not yet cleric class Cleric class is interesting. We can eventually uh, use haste with angel fire ignition as well. So let's um, go with a loner. I want to see if they want to counter this instead of bouncing something. Next, go to combat, put it onto the escort. We can at least play it back out if they bounce here. Okay, fading hope. It's fine. They're eventually going to run out of those spells, and I don't think they're going to be able to mill us out beforehand. If they find a bunch of Tasha's Hideous Laughter, there's a good chance. We have a fairly cheap uh, deck, but we do also have lots of lands that are modal lands, and so that should at least somewhat help. Memory Deluge. Okay, digging for answers. All right, so we have lethal if I use in, in Angel Fire Ignition. Let's 
See if they have some sort of response. They do. So there is some sort of bounce spell available. Getting out the Brutal Cathar might be even better, though, just to have something out there that deals damage. This does give haste to things as well. A okay, cleric class. Um, yeah, we have seven damage. All right, I'm, I'm going for it. So ignition onto escort. Now, if they bounce, they bounce the, the cheapest thing, and that's fine. Yep. And this will go to the graveyard. We're fine. We have flashback with it as well. All good stuffs. Counter there this time. Swing in. Down to two. Pass the turn. Yeah, with more angel fire ignitions as well, we should be fine. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, there we go. Play fire. Good game. Yep, that'll do it. I had Brutal Cathar with Angel Fire Ignition as well, if, if we had the mana, but we didn't. So anyway, <laughs> there you go. We win the game. All right, we're up against Stank Weasel. And this is where our hand gets a little bit different. Um, we're going to keep this for sure. We have a way to give life an indestructible a couple ways. But we also have the potential of just kind of going off with this deck and like making Olenbach Escort a massive creature, putting counters onto it, having Vigilance, and just having it be like a 7-7 seven, seven with Vigilance before too long. Um, we can also just kill a Shambling Ghast with a Spike Field Hazard, which is also a pretty good way to go. That does get up get rid of one of our red sources, which we just barely drew in the loner. All right, we just need to find a red source and life is good. All right, so Aspirant put the counter on. We'll play out Takedown Tap next turn. As long as they don't have removal now, Olenbarg Escort could protect Aspirant if we need to, but we'll be fine. I, I do actually want to keep this takedown if possible. Um, Because it's a way to deal damage to our loner. But we need mana first, so mana first. Escort. Counter here. Swing in. I'm assuming they chump. Three damage is enough to be willing to chump. At the same time, though, I, I typically don't chump whenever my life's at 20. I just kind of wait for a while, start building up my board, be able to chump things that are bigger later. Here we go. I'm hello, stink weasel. Okay. <laughs> Down to 17. Pass the turn. Stink Weasel. What you doing? Merchant. Okay. Um, no snow land, so not blood in the snow. Typically a wedding announcement type of deck though is gonna have board wipes and the, the like. So we need to get a counter onto Loner as soon as possible. And then they'll never be able to swing in as long as we have this Olenbark Escort out on the battlefield. So life is good. Game pass to my turn. Cleric class is pretty cool too. All right, so we also have Bloodthirsty Adversary into casting Hazard at some point if we need to. Um, which will work with, yeah, so that, that's a way to get damage dealt to the loner. All right, so Ill-Tempered Loner comes out. We get to put a counter onto it with Luminarch Aspirant. Then we pass the turn. Now it's protected. Now we just need to top deck a damage dealing spell or find the land for a bloodthirsty adversary. Yeah, there we go. 
Game over, man. Game over. We did it. Man, this hand, this deck has been drawing fairly well. I like it a lot. So keep this. Escort, Aspirant, Ill-Tempered Loner. And Spike Build Hazard, but we're going to have to probably use it for mana. We'll see. We just drew a land. All right, so get out Escort first. Pass the turn. I like Escort and Luminar Aspirant. Just immediately having a way to protect our Aspirant. Um, I like... Like putting counters onto the escort is interesting too because it has vigilance, but you're going to sacrifice it at some point. So it's kind of a funky card. All right, that could be a doom scar, which could be bad. Um, put this on red. Aspirant counter onto escort. We just want damage. That's the turn. We always try to go for the combo, but we try to win the game first. All right, so could be saw it coming, could be a few other things. All right, we found the fourth land, which is nice. So nice. All right, Shun Sundown Pass. Counter onto Aspirant. Now this can't get hit as much. Swing in. I don't think we play anything else out. I mean, those guys will win by themselves pretty soon. It's a pretty quick combo. Okay, divide by zero. Sure. Environmental Sciences. That makes me think this is Sot coming. Unless they go find uh, planes here. All right, yeah, it's Sot coming. All right, so we don't want to play out Ill-Tempered Loner just yet. Although we could go off if we did. All right, how much do we think this is saw it coming? Because if we play Ill Tempered Loner, then the next turn we go Aspirant, Spike Filled Hazard, and, and go for the infinite uh, life gain immediately. Which would be awesome. All right, let's go Aspirant. Okay, it was sought coming. They would counter basically anything there, so that's at least that's at least good to know. It's a little bit harder to put a counter onto this loner though. Got a 14. Um let's get this tapped. Oh, I already played a land. That's the turn. I should have done that before. I should have waited to see what I was playing before I played out the untapped land. Alright, Gold Vader. Cool. Sounds grand. We should be able to get out the loner now. They did have divide by zero. So bounce is still a thing. Bant something or other going on right now. Making this a 4-4 four four is not a terrible play either. Uh, Brutal Cathar is not a terrible play. We're, we're going to go for the combo though. No tempered loner. Can't, don't have a counter on it yet though. So... Was it, is it better to go for short on the Scalds first? I, I should have played out Kabir Takedown. Oops. I needed mana. No blocks. Turtle Druid. Aron's Epiphany. All right. Cool, cool. Good for you. Another Cultivator. Huh. Bant turns. Just a little bit of ramp, a little bit of good stuffs, and they probably have a hole breaker horror as well. No blocks. Four mana held up. Alright, so. Hmm. We do have the combo here with Angel Fire Ignition and Spike Field Hazard. So we go for it. Divide by zero is the annoying thing. Test the talents. Oh no. Curse you. It also gets to get rid of all of the ones other other places as well. Well that's dumb.
All right, Kapiri takedown tapped. Pass the turn. I don't have a counter on this, otherwise I could just, uh, you know, go with Olin Black Escort and be fine. Uh, ooh, that stops us from getting counters onto it as well. That's bad. We have Brutal Cathar, though. They should go way more aggressive right now. I think they had close to lethal. They had lethal if they swung all in. I would be forced to block something. Down to five. Past my turn. The spike filled hazard. <sighs> yeah, we're dead on the next turn, so I have to go Brutal Cathar first. Yeah, but that's game. All right. I, I mean, I can block with Ill-Tempered Loner and kill something. If I could gain the life as well as one thing, but I, I think that's just a good game. We're, we're dead to Boring Clex. Boring Clex. Um, thinking, actually. Here. Um, so we have to block Boring Clex. We block here. They deal five... Yeah, so yeah, we're, we're dead. We're dead. If I used double spike full hazard, I think I had a small chance of living there, but it wasn't worth it. Alrighty then. Alright, up against Barrel, and um, yeah, I don't think we can keep this hand. We'll get that one away. And three lands, some good stuffs. Semi good stuffs. Uh, we'll keep this. Keep it, drop one of these fellas. Lead off with Raptor past the turn. Raptor's a little bit awkward. I only have two of it in the deck, but that is what makes it worthwhile, is getting a Lunar Cast Sprint right away. <laughs> that, that's fantastic. And opponent scoops it up. Yeah, that's a pretty hard thing to beat. <laughs> okay. Gosh dang it. Like, I want to build, I want to play our combo. When we keep getting really close to the combo, but people keep scooping because they're doofuses. All right, up against Poke, and um, we'll keep this one. Sundown Pasco, pass the turn. About Cleric Class, pass the turn. We have zero creatures, <laughs> so this is a little bit awkward. Voice of the Blessed. But we do have the ability to kill that right away, so that's nice. Definitely do that. All right, nice. Uh, so I think hmm, we need to be able to deal damage to our own guys at some point. We're still going to play this out tapped. We need the four lands first. That's the turn. Righteous of Valkyrie. That's something we can't kill with play with fire. So that's nice. Alright, so. Um, yeah, ill tempered loner, and hopefully it doesn't die. Pass the turn. I would love to be able to get this cleric class first before we lose this ill tempered loner. Because then I could actually have a big massive dude and win in one turn. Voice of the Blessed. All right, so I think we need to go for it. We have the combo. We'll do the combo. All right, so put that there. Um, attack in. Gain the life, gain an extra life there, and then play with fire. If I have to put the yes on that every single time, that's going to be really annoying. Okay, yeah, whatever. All right, infinite life against the life deck. Sounds good. Seems, seems to feel right, you know? <laughs> Not too shabby. All right. So yeah, keep gaining three life every time. 
Um, this is a little bit of a hard matchup because we technically have infinite life. Who drew the first card? So we actually are winning on the draw as well here. And so they should scoop. It's kind of rude for them to not be scooping here. Wait. I can't I can't say good game here because this is going, so. <laughs> Alright, well, keep going. Eventually I'll have to not be able to not take the other thing. So this is one of those things where it's like if we were on paper, we would immediately win. Because they just they can't be infinite life with this deck. Um wait. Can't resolve. Why why am I in full control mode now? That's dumb. game so we have the infinite combo this is game over for them but because it's on arena it won't it won't work out so we have other ways to do this so um it'll it'll be fine so deal damage to them that's fine i'm fine with this much life right now pass the turn we have olimak escort and uh leveling up the cleric class will also work out pretty well for us Ah, uh, they're doing the same combo. Angel for ignition, tax in, cool. I mean, I needed to get to like a thousand life for it to be worthwhile here. Um, and unfortunately, Arena is just too slow for that kind of thing. It's really annoying, but that helped a lot. So. We have to level this up to really go off with this. Because now, now we have the, the win on the next turn. So pass the turn. It's fine. As long as they don't have removal here, life is fantastic. If they have removal, then they're just doofuses for not scooping. And very rude. Play historian. Cool, cool, cool. Doesn't really matter. Yep, down to... 112. <laughs> All right. Um, so now, now that we get the counter onto it as well, Angel Fire Ignition, Spike Filled Hazard. Now we have the Trample on it as well. Yes, here we go. It is game over. There we go. Opponent finally skipped up. So that's the value of Cleric class, because there are some people that, because we're on Arena, just getting infinite life doesn't necessarily mean that you're winning the game, because especially if you're getting life one at a time, you're going to get, you're going to end up um, timing yourself out or doing the same uh, action too many times that it, it draws the game before people scoop sometimes, which is dumb. The typical good manners thing to do is scoop as soon as someone has an infinite combo because in normal paper magic you would be able to win um i wish that there was a way for arena to kind of recognize like there's an infinite loop here or something like that um I see, that seems really hard for it to do but we did do it and it was awesome sweet stuff man i've been on a run with 80 percent win rate hex or at least I've, I've typically been playing five games and i've been winning four out of the five games almost consistently lately of course, I'm playing in free play, playing in places where it's not as competitive for sure. But still, the whole point is to find good decks that are fun and interesting. And typically, if you're being able to, if you have like a this kind of right here, it means that it's at least a higher win percentage deck than a non higher percentage win type deck, you know, uh, especially being on the draw and winning 60, 66% is fantastic. Um, I, I like the deck because it has inevitability built in. Uh, through damage dealing as well as through the combo so it's and we can go either way pretty easily angel fire ignition is just a good card anyway we have a bunch of uh, damage dealing spells which aren't always good because there's some some things with big butts but um, we can still remove a lot of the early game stuff to set up a place where our board is going to be better than theirs especially with aspirants and whatever else to kind of go off with it with things showing out scalds we never really got to play which is a little bit awkward because the hard part of the Shodan of the Skulls is it's another four mana spell. And with Ill-Tempered Loner, we, we typically were needing to get that out to, to put the pressure on of getting the combo going off. But Shodan of the Skulls was kind of the piece that we are needing other times. But I think that 
having this in an opening hand with things like aspirant and only black guy scored or whatever else would allow you to be able to keep the hand and go to the point of finding the ill tempered loner we just happen to find this basically every game which is not typical this is our other three copies of trying to find it or find other things that are worthwhile and uh, or, or start digging deeper and uh so that'll come in handy more often than it showed in this video but yeah so anyway i like the deck i actually like the numbers on most things um the question is is how much do we go more towards trying to have a good early game or do we go more for trying to draw cards and get to ill-tempered loner uh, or for more protection or for whatever else and i think we needed more card draw than what we have here we found it every time but that was luck like i was saying um so if, typically we'd need other stuff but we were able to put on a lot of pressure and still win games just by having aspirant raptor whatever else you know even cleric class is pretty nice if we can find ways to start getting life um, but we didn't have that many ways to gain life, so this becomes awkward. The real reason I liked it is because we could return something from the graveyard once we level it up as well. So we can bring back a loner, we can bring back, you know, whatever we found as well. So like Clear Clash just fit really well with everything. So anyway, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. What do, you, what do we need to do to fix this deck to make it even more consistent and better? Um, I like what I have here, but I don't think the numbers are quite right with everything. And I think that it can, it can shift to be a little bit better. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Thanks so much and bye-bye.